What's going on there, guys? Good early, well, it's not super early now, right? Kind of early afternoon, Saturday, October 9, 2021 to date, about 11.35 uh, a.m. California time, and quite the active uh, activity overnight on the Earthquake 3D globe, including a pretty large 6.8 earthquake uh, down here along the Pacific Plate, just outside of the Fiji Islands area. Also, it looks like a 4.4 striking uh, sometime shortly after there. Seen some deep movement in this region. That 6.8 striking at 485 kilometers below surface. 4.4, a little bit on the deeper side. Look at that, 633 kilometers uh, right next to the Fiji Islands area. Also, if you look up north here to the uh, globe, that earthquake struck uh, last night, 5.6. I think that kind of came in, yeah, I guess it was 5.6. I could have swore it was a little bit larger, but uh, either way, deep movement up here on the northern part of the Pacific Ring of Fire into the subduction zone, uh, well inland, that 5.6 striking at 447 kilometers. That's some deep activity, folks, occurring uh, not only on the north, but south part of the uh, Pacific Ring of Fire over here towards the Fiji Islands area. We have seen uptick in uh, earthquake activity as well off the coast of California. Uh, just to the west of the Cascadia subduction zone once again. Let's go ahead and check out what's going on out here around the globe real quick on this. Uh, see if I can get this to pop up here. I haven't had any caffeine yet. Weekend without caffeine is not good. So that's coming up uh, really soon. Here's the activity in the South America region as well. Seeing a swarm of movement into the Peru Chile Trench with the latest quake on the, glo on the uh, map here, 4.6 near Peru. Uh, this one kind of at about 10 kilometers below the surface, but some of this other activity we've seen uh, stretching way down there into the subduction zone, including that 4.3 at 105 kilometers and a little bit more uh, shallower one, but still kind of deep. Uh, 5.6 that struck uh, as well, well to the north. There's the activity off the coast of Oregon. Um, you know, it's kind of, it's it's a ways away from the Cascadia subduction zone, this little earthquake that struck 3.5 well off the coast. Uh, but it kind of goes in play with what's going on out here along the North American plate and the Juan de Fuca plate, the Pacific plate interaction, a conjunction of dynamic plate tectonic movement here in this area, uh, along with the massive amount of tremor into the Cascadia subduction zone, the tremor area. Uh, the down dip movement of the Juan de Fuca plate underneath the North American plate uh, confirms still that there's quite a bit of pressure here in this region, folks. A swarm of movement up here into the Pacific Northwest as well. Some of the activity deep, even though it's microquake activity, we're still seeing some deeper movement, including some deep activity around uh, Mount St. Helens area. You can see that movement stretching across there, 23 kilometers, pretty deep uh, around the Mount St. Helens area of Washington. There's the activity off the coast. Northern California as well covered this last night. 2.8 right smack dab on the Cascadia subduction zone. It's that little, I shouldn't say little, it's a pretty large um, uh, subduction zone. And this thing's very capable of producing at least a 9.0, potentially greater. There's been some speculation on if the last quake, the 1700 quake, was a 9.0, 8.9, or 9.2. Either way... 9.2, 9.3 maximum intensity uh, for this region, according to studies and whatnot. But uh, definitely a hazard uh, for the, um, the folks along the coast, including me up here in Northern California as well. 2.1 uh, south of Eureka, pretty deep movement. Of course, some of that activity well down, dip downstream of the locked area. 1.6 also uh, a little bit more shallower, but still at the southern end of the Cascadia and uh, just kind of watching that. We'll see what the tremor activity looks like a little bit later uh, when they do uh, the update on the uh, the tremor map. Uh, Sierra Nevada, Long Valley Super Volcano, and Ridgecrest areas. Just seen a little relief in pressure, it looks like. But I think this is going to pick up um, throughout the day today. This 3.7 that struck off the coat, or 3.5. I could have swore that was a 3.7. I don't, I don't know. Um, 3.5 off the coast, uh, I think it's going to uh, kind of just signal signaling a little bit, if you will, uh, the return of some pressure out here along the west coast. I don't think it's fully let, let loose, but uh, when we see some deeper movement over here uh, off this area of the Pacific Plate uh, in general, there's been a lot of studies on this that kind of 
relieve some pressure out here along the West Coast. I don't. I shouldn't say kind of. I believe it does relieve some pressure out here along the West Coast. Uh, there was an article about the uh, that major earthquake back in J- uh, in Japan, 2011, where uh, geologists and whatnot uh, believe that may have uh, bought California some time uh, when it comes to the big one. And that's not only the San Andreas Fault, but that includes areas of the Cascade that includes the Cascadia subduction zone. So uh, that's it. Kind of goes hand in hand. Deeper earthquake activity and larger scale movement over here uh, along the uh, this area of the Pacific Plate tends to, and I've seen it day in day out, um, relieve some pressure up here. But uh, since that 3.5 has kicked up, uh, I think it's kind of returning out here. We'll see uh, how the day goes throughout. Uh, this beautiful weekend there's some movement off the coast of los angeles in southern california area some uh, earthquake activity malibu well west southwest of malibu 2.1 pretty shallow earthquake Uh, the malibu fault system out here seeing a little one right smack dab on that as well and uh, right around the uh, east la area 1.1 pretty deep in that region uh, and still kind of looking kind of looking a little bit quiet here in that region for earthquake activity as far as uh, your average typical earthquake activity on any given day it's just been kind of spotty down here most of the movement has been well north of the garlock fault structure uh, but yeah a lot of activity scattered out and about here folks a little bit of movement near grass valley uh, or little grass valley see what else we got uh idaho yellowstone national park i really haven't seen that map yet go ahead and check out what's going on around the japan area this is where that deeper earthquake activity struck uh, last night we've seen that 5.6 447 kilometers well up in here that's uh it typically sees a lot of deep movement into the sea here but uh we did see some further activity near uh, off the coast of japan including that 5.0 pretty deep movement And also this little 4.6 deep earthquake activity as well in that region. Uh, This little section here around the uh, Pacific Plate, Philippine Plate, uh, remains really relatively quiet at the moment. But um, still kind of watching this area here. Just a couple of these could be four shocks. Not 100% certain, but uh, you never know. It could definitely well be uh, preparing for something much bigger in here. It's It's been way too quiet as far as large earthquakes go from about this section southward uh let's see here there's that 6.8 pretty strong earthquake uh near the uh Vanuatu area but 485 kilometers holy smokes that is a deep one and this one here is even deeper 633 folks it's not too often that we see that number Uh, we do get some 600 kilometer deep earthquakes but that i mean it's that one's pretty deep Uh, let's see what else we got Uh, a little swarm of activity kind of watching um, around the Iran area this activity 4.8 struck last night since then we've seen a 5.1 a little bit larger earthquake in the same region uh, at the same defaulted depth there at 10 kilometers but uh, that one there just occurring uh, a short time ago let's see what we got going on here in the Yellowstone National Park area I don't believe we're seeing any swarming yet there is that pretty strong uh, 6.8 a deep earthquake out there around the around the uh, uh, Vanuatu area it looks pretty lengthy as well but that's either way that's a pretty deep earthquake some of this earthquake activity from the Idaho region also uh, I believe the Japan earthquake that 5.6 showed up there as well kind of why I'm thinking that may may have been a little bit larger earthquake than the uh, 5.6 uh, that they're showing here on this map let me show you guys For some reason, I think that one or maybe a couple of these are a little bit larger, but they seem a lot, they seem like they're, they've been downgraded quite a bit, but they're definitely showing up on the Yellowstone station. So it's kind of a little on the odd side. And then again, some of these Idaho quakes over here, ranging around the 3.0 threshold, uh, which sometimes as well show up here in the Yellowstone National Park area on those specific seismographs but far as swarming goes looks pretty quiet here folks i don't see any major earthquake swarming kicking up and of course the trimmer activity from last night still continuing into the uh, cascadia subduction zone with northern california northward this area remains relatively quiet and it has been uh, off the central coast of oregon uh, kind of where the uh, the next mega quake will be I, I hate to i don't want to fear monger but there's no doubt that's where the uh, 
uh, at least far as the Cascadia will be, uh, the next Cascadia mega quake uh, right over here along the uh, off the coast of Oregon. So 651 epicenters yesterday. We'll see what that number brings about today. I uh, hope everyone has a good day. Got a pretty busy day planned. Should be uh, pretty fun, no doubt. Just going to do some uh, some energetic stuff and, you know, kind of stay focused and just make it a good, positive weekend. Nothing wrong with that, right? Got to stay positive. All right, folks, have a, uh, have a beautiful weekend out there. We will be back a little bit later on with the update video. Uh, until then, we'll chat you guys a little bit later. Peace out.